Seven years after losing a son, the Great Falls family is looking to give back. MTN's Elizabeth Transu sat down with a mother who is carrying on her son's legacy. He would like to torment her even though he really wasn't trying to. You know, my daughter would always be like, well, how come he never gets in trouble but I get in trouble? So it was kind of like a little, you know, brother-sister rivalry. A girl who finally got her little brother and two loving parents who were about to be faced with one of the hardest things a family would ever have to go through. He regressed from a three-month-old baby holding his head up to a one-month-old baby who couldn't do hardly anything, lost his sight and his hearing within the first six months of his life. Tanner had a disability, but as for what, doctors could never say. All the tests that they ran showed that he was a normal little boy, that there was nothing wrong. They actually told us when he first was diagnosed with whatever it was he had, um, that he wouldn't make it past the age of two. But Tanner beat those odds. Living until the age of 12, he would have celebrated his 19th birthday this year. Living every day not knowing whether or not your son is going to wake up the next day, is it's, it's tough. So the Mullins live their life as if Tanner was just a normal little boy. We never skipped a beat. And just like Tanner fought for his life for 12 years, so did Barbara, but in a different way. When we did find out that he couldn't, that he wasn't going to make it, I thought, well, if we're never going to get a diagnosis, then I've got to do something that's fighting for his life. So I actually started taking martial arts. It was really important to me. I couldn't, I couldn't save him, so I wanted to just fight. You know, fight for, for, for his right to be alive. So my son is buried with that black belt. Barber hopes to take this loss and make it something positive for another family by donating his wheelchair and smart vest. I know my son is in heaven and he's looking down on me and hopefully proud that I'm able to do this kind of stuff to help him out and that's that's really the thing is you're you're living for them and their life becomes a part of you that you can share with other people in Great Falls Elizabeth Transu MTN News